But Gurg, we need I'm a tutorial, Gurg. First thing you'll want to do is decide where you want to put your clock. I'm going to put the clock right here. And what we want to do is we want to power the clock. And so what we'll do is we'll take some blocks and we'll put some torches behind it. When you put torches, they will power pistons like they're two blocks tall, so you'll get six of them. And then with, um, sorry, three blocks on top here, that will cause it to have all six pushed. And so we're going to put our clock, I'm going to use some glass, and this way you will be able to see exactly what is going on. So if we were to make our clock, it would look like this. So on the bottom, we're going to take a regular piston underneath here. And we're going to do a regular piston underneath here. And we're going to do sticky pistons for all of the others. So we're going to have five for here and two for here. Does that make sense? Now the other thing you're going to do is you're going to have one that's facing sideways just off of them. And these are non-sticky pistons. These are regular ones. So here's how the logic goes for the order of it rotating. We're going to could do some observers all the way up. What we want to do is we want to be pushing down right here and pushing over right here. We want to have one pushing down right here and pushing over right here. Now to connect them up, we're going to do these observers. And then what we need is a solid block that we'll put right here. And we'll put some redstone dust. And we're going to detect when this piston fires and tell the next one to fire. We're going to use a note block to do that. We're going to follow this down, two, three, four, five, and then we'll have a block off here to finish it. These gaps underneath are how we shuffle the clock. Now over here, we're going to be looking at this one, one, two, and then we'll have another block with some dust. We're going to go one, two, and a note block. And then we're going to have one, and then we need two, so we're going to put a note plug in here. And we're going to have a solid block here. And we're also going to have a sticky piston down here that pushes an observer looking down back and forth. Now to power it underneath, you're going to need target blocks on this one, this one, and this one. And then you're going to have a target block right here behind this. And you can put these alternating. See that? So we're going to put some dust right here, and we're going to put a lot of torches on this one. We're going to put a torch here, we're going to put a torch here, and we're going to put a torch here. And to start this whole mechanism, we're going to have an observer look at this piston right here. Now to run the inner part of the clock, we need to pull these out, and so we'll start on that because it all hooks together. So what we're going to do is we're going to put three tick repeaters right here. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. We're going to run five blocks out like this. We're going to come over a block. And then we need a big delay. So we're going to do a bunch of four tick repeaters right here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We're going to come out. Put some redstone dust here. Some redstone dust here. And then two more two tick, or four tick delays, rather. I'm going to put this here and that there. And we're going to make a loop of comparators, like so. We're going to power it through this block right here. I'm going to put a three tick delay right here. So now we have a input. This is going to hook up to a note block here and an etho hopper clock right here. So what we can do is we can have an observer that's powering right that, and a note block. Ta da! You see how it pulls that back and holds it back for a while? So, interestingly, you're going to want to power down here, and this is how we're going to wire up the rest of it. We're going to put a piston right here, and this piston is going to push and pull an observer that is firing a signal into these repeaters. We're going to put two ticks here and four ticks here. And then we'll hook them up together. And that's going to power another piston that's right here, 
which is going to power this observer looking upward. And that's going to put its signal into this block right here when the timing is right. Now amusingly, we're actually doing two of these. This one is going to be powered by the redstone dust up here. In order for it to power properly and re retract when it needs to, you need to put a note block on top. So these are going to be really close together, but this is how they're going to work. First, the easy part, we're going to power this in two different ways. We're going to have it come out here. We're going to have a two tick delay right here. And actually you can do this. And then we're going to have a two tick delay on this one. And this one is going to feed a torch right there. Now make sure you put dust here as well. Now for the interesting part. So right here, when this one powers this block, we're going to have a three tick delay and we're going to put it into a block here. Now this particular piston right here is a challenge. Pay close attention to this one. It's the one that's pushing sideways on the bottom right. This one has some issues. I'm going to show you how to fix those issues. What Gerg does is we have a piston facing right here that's extended and we're going to look at it when it extends in order to power that. So this is facing down. We need to power these two in order for them to go up and down. And this is going to do that as well. We'll put the redstone torch here. And then we'll put a block on top of it. And that'll power the first one. And then to power the second one, what we'll do is we'll have a redstone dust here powered by that torch. So now, if you've done it right, when you push the button, you should see a bunch of rotation happening. There's two separate things happening right now. As you can see, our inner part failed. Sometimes it works, sometimes it fails. Make sure that you've got this correct, that all you have is this redstone torch and this dust. And if you've done that right, I will show you how to fix it. But notice that the outside ring, this five by five ring is working correctly. And so it'll go up one. While that's attempting to work, it's gonna come in. Now you'll notice that this piston is not firing when it pulls the blocks down. So what you can do to fix that is you can look at this piston and then look at that observer. And then by placing a note block here, we will update this piston right here and force it to update. And so now our clock is fixed. So now if I were to put this here, for ease of sight, we're gonna do black concrete for fun. Boop, boop, boop. Now you will see, and make sure you fill in all of your clocks so that it doesn't have any holes. And now you'll see, when it pulls in, it does fire. So now this piston is going when we want it to. Now you've got your clock. Congratulations if you got this far. So now, how do you make it sync up with the day? So in order to sync it up to the daylight cycle, you need to have it fire 16 times each day, which is 94 items in an etho hopper clock. Let's make one. So what Gurk does is he puts dust here, and we're going to power it from a torch that we've placed right here. But before we place that torch, we're going to build the hopper clock. So the hopper clock is going to be right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a piston like this that is two blocks apart, like so. And they're going to push a redstone block back and forth. Now this redstone block is going to be turning off a pair of hoppers. So we'll have two hoppers that are facing each other and they're holding 94 items. And what we're going to do is we're going to have comparators detecting how many are in those, pointing into blocks, and those blocks are producing redstone dust. Like that. Now let's put in 94 out items. So there's 50, and then 40, and then four. So that will add up to 94 items. And then all we need to do is put a torch right here. And every time it needs to go, see the state we're in? And if you want to sync it perfectly to the clock, what you can do is you can count your items. See how it's counting down? So let's calibrate it, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. What we'll do is we'll run this command, right as it switches over with two daylight cycle enabled. 
and now it is midnight as it is moving. Since this is actually a snapshot, I can speed it up and we can see it in action moving quickly. Tick rate, let's go 500. Watch the moon. And high noon right about now. See, it works. Hope that was helpful. Thanks to my patron, Austin J. Go check out Gerg's video, and I will see you in the next one.